In the U.S., there is a three-digit number that helps determine how much you pay for credit, which can affect virtually all expenses in your life, from what rate you pay on the loan for your house or your car. It's called a credit score, and it's totally unique to you. Many U.S. lenders use one type of credit score called the FICO score. FICO, or Fair Isaac Corporation, was the first company to translate all your credit history into a single three-digit number that predicts how likely you are to not pay your bills. The number helps lenders decide how much of a credit risk you are. The FICO score ranges from a low of 300 to a high of 850. The lower the score, the higher a risk you pose to the lender. It's calculated by applying FICO's formula, which is based on data from your credit report that looks at how well you have managed your debt. It takes into account your payment history, total debt, duration, meaning the length of your credit history, new credit, and types of credit. If you want a high credit score, you'll want a strong mix of credit cards, loans, and mortgages. But opening too many new accounts in a short period of time makes you a higher risk. Most people actually have multiple FICO scores, each based on data from the three main credit scoring companies. FICO sells the data to credit scoring companies, the largest being Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And then each company crunches its own number based on your credit report. One thing to keep in mind, this score doesn't consider your income, savings, utility bills, your job status, or anything to do with spending on your debit card. And if you don't have any sort of credit history, then you likely won't have a credit score. This score changes in real time, so it can move up or down based on your credit habits. That means it's never too late to turn a score around. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.